Hi everyone and welcome and in today's video we'll be making Eevee He's similar to how we made the Sprigatito in a previous video So let's get started Place for Eevee's body Wrap some core wool around a polystyrene egg Then wrap some brown wool around the body. Keep poking the wool until it's nice and firm. Roll up two strips of brown wool into long thin sausage shapes for the legs. Curve up one end for the paw then felt into position and also felt the rest of the leg to make sure the wool is nice and firm. Wrap more wool around the leg if it's too skinny or it's not firm enough. Now roll up a longer strand of wool for the back legs and fold over the top half. The leg should be shaped like a chicken drumstick. Make the paw in the same way as the front legs and felt into position. Use a firm felting needle to score lines for Evie's toes. For the head, make it into an egg shape. Also shape a bump out of the bottom part of the egg for Evie's snout. For the eyes felt two flat black discs. Felt on some brown wool for the shading and felt a small white ball for the shine. I'm going to use a couple of pins to hold the eyes into position. Felt mainly round the edges of the eyes. This will help to tuck in any loose wool strands. You also don't risk damaging the eye with the needle. Felt a small black ball of wool onto his snout for his nose. I'm now going to score a mouth into the bottom of the snout. Use some dark red wool for Evie's mouth and a little bit of pink wool for his tongue. For the ears, felt some long triangle shapes from brown wool. Before finishing them, check them with Evie's head to check if they're too big or too small. Felt some dark brown wool for the insides of Evie's ears. Gently felt at an angle. This will stop too much of the dark brown poking through the back of the ear. Then felt some thin black wool onto the bottom part of the inside of the ear. Use some pins to hold the ears into position. Then felt some brown wool around them to fix them into position. Just don't forget to take the pins out afterwards. To make the tuft on Evie's head, I'm using a reverse needle to pull out tufts of brown wool. Felt onto the body some cream wool for the neck. This will also serve as a base for Evie's tufty neck. Felt onto the neck some tufts of cream wool. Leave the ends all unfelted. Use the cream wool to build up layers of tufty fur until it is nice and thick. The front part of the tufty neck should be thicker than the rest of the tuft. Now we can start to felt on Evie's legs. Use some thin brown wool to hide the connection 
of the legs to the body. Make a hole in the middle of the neck and add a small doweling stick. This will give Evie's head a little extra strength. You can cover up the gap with some more green wool for his tuft. Now it's time for our Evie to have a haircut. Lightly trim small amounts from the tuft with the scissors positioned at an angle. This will keep the tuft neat and stop you from trimming too much wool off. Now we'll style the tuft a bit by using the soft eyebrow brush. If the tuft's still a bit long, just continue to trim a little bit off at a time. The tail is made the same way as the body, as they are similar sizes. Okay, Evie. I'm about to ask you a very important question that will affect your life. Now, are you a boy or a girl? On the tip of the tail felt on some cream wool. If you're making the mail, Evie, pull some tufts off a strip of wool, make the end jaggedy by rolling it between your fingers, then felt this jaggedy end onto the brown part of the tail. If you're making a female, Evie, the edges are smooth and curved up. If you look at the tail from above, it pretty much looks like a flower shape. Roll two ends of a strand of wool into spike shapes. This will be for the tip of Evie's tail. Wrap some cream wool around this to hold it into position. Just like we did with the head, I'll use a bit of wooden doweling to hold the tail into position on the body. Just fix up any parts of Evie that look unneat, and now you're finally finished. And that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this, please check out another one of my videos on my channel and think about subscribing. Here is the shiny Evie that I did for a TikTok video. My TikTok channel is the same as this one, Starway Felting. And on that note, thank you for watching, and I'll see everyone next time.